Hi, welcome to Be Parenting, the buzz around parenting brought to you by Brookline Early Education and Brookline Interactive Group. You might remember us from Be Bear Book Club, and now we're here to help parents work on issues they care about. Today's topic is behavior. We're looking at that because we know that behavior is on every parent's mind. Nothing strikes terror in the heart of parents more than bad behavior, aggressive behavior, outburst behavior. We hear a lot about it and we worry a lot about it. And I can promise you it's a universal worry. And we've worried about it for many years before this one. We look at behavior in interesting ways in school and we've identified some ways that we can actually modify behavior in a fairly painless way. First, we like to assume good intentions. We like to assume that children are doing just as well as they can and that it's not purposeful when they act out in a way that doesn't bring us pleasure. We want to remember that they're just little and they are learning and that that learning can take a little bit of time. So once we are assuming the goodwill and we are noticing that things are not going as well as we had hoped, we need to identify the issue. One of the things that is difficult for children is to know what it is you're talking about. You don't like my behavior. What is behavior after all? They need a specific idea. So, it doesn't make me feel good when I see you hitting your brother is a very specific idea. It makes me feel wonderful when you have kind hands. The positive outweighs the negative. So kind hands are a thing we will focus on. Kind hands with your brother, kind hands in the world, kind hands at the table, wherever kind hands needs to be the very short and very explicit way of talking about behavior for a child that is the age of two to five. So we've picked our issue carefully. We explain to them what is the issue about. Well, we wanna be able to have good friends in the world. We wanna be a good buddy. We want people to enjoy being with us. And when we have kind hands, that's what they can do. People won't be worried about the way we're going to act when our hands are telling them that we're actually good friends. We've identified the problem. We've told them why it's meaningful. And then we have to help them develop some strategies so that they can actually be successful with this. We've got kind hands and now we're going to a birthday party. Before we go in, let's just remember we're going to use our kind hands. If you need help, you can come over and get me. For a parent that's staying close by, a child being able to access you can be a great help. Sometimes we may need to access the child. We can see that those hands are getting a little tricky and now we're going to go over and say, come on, let's take a walk. How is it going? Let's not focus on something we saw that wasn't good. We're going to keep looking for what is and giving them strategies so that they can adapt. Come and take a walk gives them a chance to regroup. What's the good part? Is there any hard part? What are we gonna do when we get back? All of those help a child to refocus. And then when we get through the party without any trouble, we are pretty excited. Those hands were super kind. And even if we had a little bit of difficulty, we're going to remember that most of the time, your hands were super kind. You did a great start for today. Always, always, it's little increments. And always, always, children want to know that we love them no matter what. <laughs>